Hello, my name's Dave, and I'm going to show you how to make this uh, iron mantle clock. Uh, it comes in, in pieces, and all you do is weld the components together. Uh, this one's painted satin black, and I've highlighted different pieces in, um, in copper, but you can paint it whatever colour you want. Um, uh, cream and gold leaf is nice. Cream and then paint all this in gold leaf. The movement, I thought was about five pound, but actually you can buy these uh, for about a pound, two pound, these quartz movements. So they're quite cheap to buy, but the steel itself is, is, is uh, quite expensive. But if you want something different, then I think it's worthwhile making. You can't buy these in the shops. Um, and like I say, it's, it's worthwhile. Um, you can buy the, the plates to uh, go on. I think it looks nice, just left plain. If you want to, you can paint the numbers on yourself. Um, these are the uh, component parts, and I'll, I'll show you in the in, in another video where they will go. Anyway, hope you like the video. For the raw time mantle clock. 2 off 3 out 5 by 80 and 2 off 3 80 2 80 sorry by 60 and uh, you have to make it 5 or 6 mil thick and um, I'll drill some holes now that goes on there and it's plug welded around there so you can't see a weld so there's no weld showing around the edge a piece of uh, 1.2 or 1.6 sheet um, the blank size is 200 by 230, bent at 40 mil both ends, so you end up with 150 by 200 and about 11 mil hole offset. Two baskets, 12 mil square, 12 mil square bar, that's welded or just tacks on there, and then afterwards there's uh, four of these collar strips bent like a u-shape and then that's put over there to make it more decorative 50 more ball another, another piece of 25 more flat two leaves and i think that's it right now i'm going to weld through the holes onto this plate Put some more weld on there, and that's going to be the top, and that one will be the bottom. I've welded the, um, the plates and ground the, the weld off. That's the base. Now that's going to be welded there like that. But I'll weld the back. Going to weld the back, not the front, and that's the top. Let's go on there like that. And I've welded the um, the collar strip. I've welded the these on the ends, and then the collar strip went on there at the back, and that's going to go there. Bend the collar strip, put it in the voice.
simple as that. Welded now on the inside. The next step is to weld these in place. One weld at the back and the same there. That's another one there. Right, these are being welded in place now. And it only takes one weld at the back. As you can see, it's really simple. All that's left is to weld that on there and that, and then one of them there, one of them there. It's finished now. I've welded the leaves, the ball, and the uh, 12 mil round uh, square bar to the welds there. All that's left now is to paint it. You can paint it whatever colour you want. Uh, I'm painting this one black, satin black, but uh, they look nice cream and then highlighted in um, gold leaf. And then you can buy the mechanism to fit, to fit in the back. They range from, I don't know, um, £5 to £10, maybe, maybe a little bit more, a little bit less. But it's really simple to make and uh, it's, it looks totally different to what you can buy in the shops. Painted it satin black. And I'm going to fit the um, the clock mechanism through there later. But first of all, I'm going to use some of these copper paints, just a, a tiny bit on a on a sponge, and just highlight it, just brush it. It's really simple. 